All right, what is up guys? So tonight I just wanted to talk about why being a Forex trader is going to be harder than you think. So the ultimate goal of being a Forex trader is to become profitable, right? Now for some people this can take, you know, eight months, for others it can take five, 10 years, just depending on the person and depending on how fast they learn. So when you finally become profitable, I want you to know that that's a beautiful thing and you will get there if you persevere and you put in the work but the caveat to that is that even if you're profitable, you're still not profitable because depending on where you are in the world, if you're not trading very heavily regulated instruments, brokers will screw you over. If you're not trading your own capital and you're using a prop firm, prop firms will screw you over. So the one thing I wanna warn everybody about, especially with prop firms, is that prop firms aren't gonna pay you. Now, I have been testing quite a few prop firms and the only one that's paid me out consistently has been FTMO. As a US citizen, however, I'm no longer allowed to use FTMO, so I've been going through different prop firms to see if they'll pay me out. And so far, most of them have declined payment for various small fine print things in their rules because you know the, the goal of a prop firm originally is to find traders. Um, if, if you're a prop firm, Basically what they're doing is they're providing liquidity and they're providing trades for institutions or hedge funds. And what they're doing is they're finding either the opposite side of trades for those big players, or they're finding good traders where they want to invest their own money because they have, you know, a long history and a consistent win rate and they're making money that way. Now, somewhere along the line that got bastardized and most prop firms nowadays don't go by that model. Instead, what they realize is that 95% of traders fail. So if 95% of traders fail and a challenge is like $1,000, you can do the math really quick on how much money they can make by making you fail or letting you fail yourself. So if I'm a trader and I'm, I have a 95% chance of failure, and I finally get through that and I finally persevere and I work hard enough where I can, you know, be that 5% of people that actually make money trading. I go into a prop firm and now a lot of them have, you know, instead of just, you know, here's the capital trade as you will, they have different rules. So, you know, most prop firms have a daily loss and a max loss, uh, depending on how you're trading, that's either a good thing or a bad thing for you, 5%. Daily loss is usually what they do. They're now lowering it down to 4%. I've even see, seen 3% on some accounts. Um, 3% and 6% max loss isn't a lot of capital because what you have to realize is that for every $100,000 of prop firm money, they're only giving you 10 grand to lose. So it's basically if you had your own $10,000 prop firm, or sorry, if you had your own $10,000 live account and you could only lose $5,000 a day. And now they're lowering that to if you had $8,000, you can lose four grand a day. And you know, $6,000, you can lose three grand a day. So really, you know, you're paying $1,000, basically have a $5,000 account or $10,000 account max. And so, you know, that's kind of one to 10 your money and you think that's that might be a good thing for you. But the other thing you have to realize is that a lot of these prop firms, because they aren't heav heavily regulated, they're using brokers or they're manipulating their own broker feed to either slip you out of a position to you know widen spread enough that they'll take you out. I've had a broker that widened the spread 500 pips on me out of nowhere and took me out when price was apps like 10% off where my stop loss was. And you know, they they can do those things because they're not regulated or they're regulated in, you know, the Caymans or some island. The U.S. government, what they're doing right now is they're really cracking down on these prop firms and they're coming out with a heavy hammer because all these consumers are getting screwed over. Now, this is something very similar to bucket shops back in the day where the broker would delay the feed and the broker would slip the price and, you know, they would they basically handicap you any way they could to not pay out because they make money by you losing. So when you buy a prop firm challenge, I want you to know that you are being set up to lose money and you are being set up to basically be swindled. Now, I'm not saying all of them do that. I found one or two that don't, but to this date, the only prop firm I've found that actually uses their own capital, you know, they, they have actually different rules where their rules are more lenient. So I recently found a prop firm. I haven't received a payout from them yet, so I won't drop the name, but they allow you to have a 10% daily loss and a 20% max loss. So basically it's a little more expensive, but basically, you know, for a hundred thousand dollar account, it would be a two hundred thousand dollar account with any other prop firm. So I'm testing them out. So far, their broker conditions are very, very, very good. The best I've seen so far 
I have an EA running on a bunch of different prop firm brokers right now. And it's funny cause you'll watch some of them will hit TP and then some of the more shady ones they won't. And you know, if you look at all the prices next to each other, price will, you know, in, in trading view price will hit my TP in, you know, two of the brokers that are okay. It'll, you know, barely hit it. And then the shady broker, it won't get anywhere close to it. So my live broker Coinex, which is what I use for my personal funds, I'm having to copy trade from IC markets because they will move the price like 20% less than where it should be going. So basically everything's just being shrunken down by 20%. Now for me, that means that I'm taking about 20% less profits on my trade, but you know, my system is so profitable that that's okay. So before you get into the prop firm space, because a lot of people think it's the be all end all of trading, you should use a demo account, obviously, to make sure you're profitable first. That's a huge mistake most people make. But once you've gone there, you know, I would recommend taking like $1,000 of your own money, $500 of your own money and putting it where your mouth is and trading with that to get started and kind of getting a feel of what it's like to use real money and what it, you know, you can gain with real money. Now, the problem with trading is that it's not a risk to reward problem. It's a capital problem. So this has really kind of screwed most people up because now most people are failing these prop firms consistently and they're spending, you know, five grand at a prop firm trying to pass these challenges or they get an account and they'll blow the account or they won't give them a payout. And, you know, you could have just taken that $5,000 and put it into your own account and grown it probably more. So. You know, it really is a, a thing and, you know, ICT really says you have to have, you know, like 10 grand to trade if you really want to trade. And if you trade futures in the US, they are very, very heavily regulated. And it's funny because when you trade futures, you'll notice that you don't get slipped. You don't, you know, have these crazy spreads that open up out of nowhere. I actually don't think there's any spread. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, a friend told me there's no spread on futures. So you don't have to worry about that. You're in and out instantly. Um, there's no like delay or time delay where they'll, you know, you click the close button and they'll slip you 40%. That used to happen to me with my Forex funds. I've been slipped 60% multiple times on a stop loss. Uh, the old broker I used to use, Anko Trade, used to do that to me where they'd slip me 60% on a stop loss. Coinex hasn't done that to me, but they are like handicapping me, I'd say 30% in the profits. So finding a good broker where you can put your money and you can trade correctly is really a challenge right now. And hopefully, you know, it's a it's a curse and a blessing because with the the U.S. government coming down so hard on these prop firms, you know, to to the point where they're sending out red notices for Interpol for the owners of these things, you know, hopefully we see the prop firm space kind of reform and you know start taking more seriously what their trading conditions are. I know I've seen E8 markets is one I used to use back in the day and I stopped using them because they would slip me 30, 40% on a stop loss. And nowadays I'm using them and it's not as bad. Like I'm getting, you know, two, 3% extra slippage. But I think a lot of these people are getting scared that the US government is gonna come after them. They're kind of tightening their systems. But ultimately the problem is that their business model does not work if you get a payout. So the ones I wanna put on blast are, uh, Next step funded, I want to put Cortana on blast. Nova's having some issues right now, but I'm I'm waiting for them to clear that up before I say anything. But you know, these prop firms, especially these high frequency trading prop firms, they are limiting the way that you can trade so tightly that it's barely possible to A, even make money on their prop firms and B, get a payout. So with, with Next Step funded, when I signed up for it, they had a rule in there that said you can't have a trade be more than 50% of your overall profit. Then out of the blue, they changed that to 30% per trade and instantly changed it on all the trades you had already made. I have an account with them where I can't have a trade be more than 50% of the profit. Now I'm a kind of guy who likes to, you know, make some profit, shut the account down, wait for my payout. But because they had changed the rules, I think I had three trades in there and each was like 33% of the profit because they're all about equal. And they said they declined my payout for that reason because it was more than 30%. And I pointed out to them because I had screenshots when I signed up for everything that said 50% and they told me too bad, tough luck. It, it's 30% from when we said it is and that includes all your old trades. So a lot of these prop firms will do shady things like that where basically again, their business model isn't set up to have you make money. So they will do anything they can to not pay you out. Another issue I've had recently is Cortana. They've denied me two payouts now. 
the first one they denied me. I'm not sure I entirely remember the reason, but the, the most recent one, which is most frustrating, is that I adjusted my entire trading system where it trades everything in their rules, fixed lots, no more than you know 30% per trade for profit. Everything's coming out the exact same. Everything, it's 100% profitable and it's all coming out in about equal increments and the same lot size. Now, I did all this to fit their rules and then they hit me with an IP address violation. Now, I trade from a VPS and that is the only account I trade from. Now, in their fine print, it says you can't trade from more than two VPSs or sorry, two IP addresses. And that's fine for me because I don't trade from anything but the VPS. But apparently they were also logging every time that you check the account. And I'm not sure if this is you check the account on their website or you check the account on your phone or you check the account in a browser because they showed me about 20 different IP addresses, most of which I don't recognize. I recognized my home IP address and the VPS IP address or the trades it placed, but it's not the trades that you place with the IP address. It's you apparently even just looking at the damn account. So I tried to explain to them that I traded this whole account with a expert advisor that I coded. I have the code, I have the source code I can provide them. No other trades were made outside. You can see that. And they still denied me a $5,000 payout. So I'm about $10,000 in profit on my Cortana account that I have not been paid out or various rules that they have. Um, even following all the rules, they'll still find something not to pay you out. So I'm giving them one more month and, you know, I'm trying to warn you guys to, you know, stay away. I've heard people get payouts from them, but recently I guess they might've been having issues with all this stuff going on with the US. So I'm going to try one more month. I put the EA on my VPS and I clicked go and I'm just going to turn it off at the payout date and I'm going to see what they say. Hopefully they give me a payout, but I'm not, you know, getting my help up. So that, that's a real tough one for me and a real tough one for a lot of other people because, you know, you, you take all this effort and you go through all this pain and you go through all this, you know, learning experience and losing thousands of dollars blowing accounts to finally be profitable and then you become profitable and it's like you know you're getting your hamstring cut everywhere you go so i'm not sure the solution i'm not sure what happens in the future hopefully you know from the u.s doing all this stuff with you know regulation things become better i'm, I'm really hoping for that because prop firms are honestly you know godsend for everybody i mean a lot of people don't have ten thousand dollars put in an account and trade it or you know god forbid you blow the account and, you know, being able to trade with other people's capital really kind of gives you an extra level of confidence in your trading, which usually ends up making you more profitable. So I just wanted to kind of take that moment and explain to you about prop firms and brokers and what they're doing kind of together to basically screw you and handicap you in your trading. You basically have to be so profitable that the handicap doesn't matter. And if you can do that, then you can start getting payouts and you can start making money from trading. But I just wanted to let you guys know that being profitable isn't the end game. You have to be profitable and then like be twice as profitable and follow very, very specific rules. You got to make a good payout. If you can fund your own account, that's honestly the best. That's what I've started doing because now I don't have rules that I have to follow. Uh, like I said, my broker's handicapping me a little bit, but they are a Caribbean unregulated broker. It's just because the way I trade, I need to use MT5 and MT4 to trade. So I can't use the futures brokers because they don't allow that. And a lot of these other brokers are denied clients. So I'm kind of in a gray area right now, but Coinex has been all right to me. They paid out. I've received, you know, a few thousand dollars in payouts from them and it's been okay. So going forward, I'm going to keep doing that and I'm going to keep trying these prop firms and I'll let you guys know if they work, if they don't work, if they give me a payout, if they don't, you know, if you guys have any recommendations for prop firms, I'd really like that. Good ones that you've received payouts from. Like I said, I've tried FTMO, Cortana, Nova, Next Step Funded, E8. There's some other ones in there I'm forgetting, but you know, if there's other prop firms that allow you as citizens that you guys know of, let me know and I'll go test them and see what we can get a payout or not. So I hope that helped. Don't be discouraged. You know, it's it's all a process. It's all game. It's a long game, but I promise you it's worth it in the end. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys have a great night.